relax and enjoy the show. Interesting. The cells are below. This is the common room. 
For those who wait. How long do they wait? Some an hour, some a lifetime. Do they all await the Inquisition? Ah, no. These are really thieves and murderers. Shout if you need anything. If you're able. What did he mean by that? Calm yourself. There's a remedy for everything but death. That could be the very one we need. Good morning, gentlemen, ladies. I regret being thrust upon you in this manner, and I hope you'll not find my company objectionable. In any case, I shall not be among you for very long. The Inquisition. <laughs> Noise, trouble, fight! Kill each other if you must. But for God's sake, do it quietly. <laughs> Who are you? Speak up! Cervantes. Don Miguel de Cervantes. A gentleman! <laughs> that has never saved me from going to bed hungry. And that, my servant. May I have the honor? They call me the governor! Yeah! <laughs> What's your game? My game? Your specialty man. Cut purse, highwayman. Uh, and nothing is so interesting. I am a poet. Are you in prison for that? Uh, no, not for that. Well, let's get on with the trial. Excuse me, sir, but what trial? Yours, of course. But what have I done? Well, we'll find something. You don't seem to understand. I shall only be here My for... dear sir, no one enters or leaves this prison without being tried by his fellow prisoners. And if I'm found guilty... Oh, you will be. <laughs> what sort of sentence could you possibly... We think? generally find a prisoner of all his possessions. <coughs> all of them? Well, it's not practical to take more. One moment. These things are my livelihood. I thought you said you were a poet. Of the theater! False! The costumes and properties. You see, actually, I am a playwright and an actor. Oh. So, of course, these poor things could... Possibly be of no use to. Very well, take them. Oh no, master! Take them, take them, I say. Only leave me this. Heavy, valuable to me. We might let you ransom it. I have no money. How unfortunate. Paper. Manuscript. Still worthless. Oh. But wait! You spoke of a trial. By your own word, I must be given a trial. Oh, very well. I hereby declare this court in session. <laughs> now then, what are you here for? I am to appear before the Inquisition. Heresy? Not exactly. You see, I have been employed by the government as a tax collector. Poet, actor, tax collector? A temporary thing to keep us from starvation. And how does a tax collector get into trouble with the Inquisition? I made an assessment against the monastery, man, monastery of the Merced. When they wouldn't pay, I issued a lien on their property. You did what? He foreclosed on a church. But why are you here? Someone had to serve the papers. These two have empty rooms in their heads. The law says treat everyone equally. We only obeyed the law. Governor, if you don't mind, I should like to prosecute this case. Why? Let us say I dislike stupidity. Especially when it masquerades as virtue. Miguel de Cervantes, I hereby charge you with being an idealist, a bad poet, an honest man,
It is true. I am guilty of these charges. An idealist? Well, I have never had the courage to believe in nothing. A bad poet? This comes a little more painfully. Have you finished your defense? Oh, no. Scarce begun. If you've no objection, I should like to continue in the manner I know best. In the form of a charade. charade. An entertainment, if you will. Entertainment? Had worse to maybe guy your time. And since my cast of characters is large, I call upon all here to enter into whatever role no, they may. No, no, no. Uh, let's hear them out. Then, with your kind permission, may I set the stage? I shall impersonate a man. Enter to my imagination and see him. His name, Alonzo Quijana, a country squire, no longer young. Bony, hollow face, eyes that burn with the fire of a vision. Being retired, he has much time for books. He studies them from morn to night, and often through the night as well. All he reads oppresses him, fills him with indignation of man's murderous ways towards man. He broods and broods and broods, and finally through so much brooding his brains dry up. He lays down the melancholy burden of sanity and conceives of the strangest project ever imagined. To become a knight errant and sally forth into the world to right all wrongs. No longer shall I be playing along so Quijana, but a dauntless knight known as Don Quixote de la Mancha.
How does so like adventuring? Oh, marvelous, Your Grace. But it's peculiar. To me, this great highway to glory looks exactly like the road to El Tavorso. We can buy chickens cheap. A like of beauty, my friend. Tis all in the eyes of the beholder. Only wait, and thou shalt see amazing sights. What kind? Oh, there will be knights and nations, warlocks, wizards, a cavalcade of us, unending armies. They sound dangerous. Oh, they are dangerous. But one will be who leads them, and he will be most dangerous of all. Well, who is he? Who? The great enchanter. Beware him, Sancho, for his thoughts are cold, and his spirit shriveled. He hath eyes like little machines, and where he walks, the earth is blighted. But one day, Sancho, I will meet him face to face, and on that day! We get upset, Your Grace. As I always say, have patience and shuffle the cards. Do you never run out of problems? No. <laughs> I was born with a belly full of them. I always say... Uh -huh. What is it? How long since we have sallied forth? About two minutes. So soon shall I engage in brave, unequal combat. Combat? Where? Oh, canst not see. A monstrous giant of infamous repute. What giant? Oh, it is that dark and dreaded ogre by the name of Madaguga. You can tell him by the four great arms he has whirling on his back. It's a windmill. Oh, feckless giant standing there. Alas, aunt, on guard, beware. No, 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 you race. I swear by my wife's little black mustache, I'm not a... He changed that giant into a windmill at the last moment. He will take any advantage in order to... to... Sancho, it comes to me. What, Your Grace? How he was able to upset me. It is because I have never been properly dubbed a knight. Well, that's no problem. Just tell me how it's done. I'll be glad to take care of this drubbing. A dubbing? Well, thank you, my friend, but it may only be done by another knight. That's a problem. I've never seen another knight. Well, the lord of some castle would do. Or a king. Or a duke. Very well. I'll keep an eye out for any kings or dukes as we go. Oh! Now what? The very place. Where? There. If your grace could just give me a hint. There in the distance. A castle. A castle? A rock abound amidst the crags. Crags? And the banners. Oh, the brave banners flaunting in the wind. Anything on them? <laughs> I, I see a cat crouching on a field tawny. And beneath it, the inscription, Meow. <laughs> oh, well, that's fine, Your Grace. Maybe this is where you can get yourself drugged. Dubbed. Blow thy giggles so that a dwarf from out the battlements and an owl saw coming. Well, there's a problem. I don't see a castle. I do see something. Maybe it's an inn. <coughs> an inn? You better pass it by, Your Grace. You know what they say. Those roadside places are always full of rough men and women. Come, we shall ride straight to the drawbridge of yon castle, and there thy vision will improve. of how to the untrained eye, one thing may seem to be another, to Sancho an inn, to Quixote a castle, to someone else, whatever his mind may make of it. But for the sake of argument, let us grant Sancho his vision, an inn. A kindly innkeeper, his less than kindly wife, rough men, muleteers, fifteen miles in the road today, uh -huh. uh. Rough women, in most particular, a woman called Algonza. Come here. Talk with your mouth. 
not your head. Oh, silence! I have a nice thick bed of hay in the stable. Good. Eat it. <laughs> you will refuse Pedro? Try me. My mules are not as stubborn. Fine. Make love to your mules then. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sir Knight, you must be hungry. Aye, that I am. Well, there's food a plenty, and for your squire, too. I'll just help him stable your animals. Gentle knights, Vera Chatelaine, if there be any among you that require assistance, you have but to speak, and my good right arm shall be at thy service. Whether it be a castle, beleaguered by giants, an army besieged and awaiting rescue, or merely... <laughs> I dare not gaze full upon thy countenance, lest I be blinded by beauty. But I implore thee, speak once thy name. Eldonza. My lady Jess. Eldonza. The name of a kitchen scullion, or mayhaps my lady's I told you name. my name, now get out of me. Did my lady think to put me to the test? Our sweet sovereign over my captive heart. I shall not fail thee, for I know I have dreamed thee too long, never seen thee or touched thee, but known thee with all of my heart. Half a prayer, half a song, thou hast always been with me, though we have been always apart. Dulcinea. Touch of my hand on thy hair. Let my fingers but see thou art warm and alive and no phantom to fade in the air. Dulcinea, Dulcinea, I have sought thee, sung thee, dreamed thee. Your purpose is to divert us from ours. Precisely. Now, we might get on with it. Continue your defense. Imagine now the family our brave knight left behind, not the lords and ladies and retainers of Don Quixote and Amancha, but the simple woman folk, a 
of a country squire known as Alonso Quijano. Imagine their surprise as news of the master's madness reaches them. To his niece, Antonia, who is worried about its effects on her forthcoming marriage. To his housekeeper of many years, who is worried about even darker matters. To the local padre, who has known Alonso all of his life. And shortly, the relenter character, whose philosophy may appeal enormously to you. Alonso's niece and housekeeper hurry into the neighborhood church. May we have a church, please? Anguished by this terrible situation and not unaware of what the neighbors may think, they seek help and advice from the local padre. The padre. But in spite of the trouble which the squire's madness may bring down upon their heads, you may be sure that they are only thinking of him.
Now there enters into the scene a man of breeding, intelligence, logic. Is Antonio's fiance, Dr. Sanson Carrasco, Bachelor of Science, graduate of the University of Salamanca, a man who carries his own self importance as though afraid of breaking it. I've forgotten that family quarrels have a way of getting out of hand with so much at stake in the game. Let us rearrange the pieces. The queen, cunning. The castle, formidable. The bishop, charmingly diagonal. And now, the problem of the night. Sanson. Have you heard it? On the way here, I was informed by at least a dozen people. My, my dear, your uncle is the laughing stock of the entire neighborhood. All right, what do you know of this? Only that the good Signor Kiana has been carried away by his imagination. The good Signor Kiana has lost his mind and is suffering from delusions. Is there a difference? It's not unit of meaning. Yet I remind you, Padre, that I am a doctor. Please don't argue. We must do something about him. My dear, I'm a little more worried about us. Do you mean us? Our marriage, my dear. There's a certain embarrassment in having a madman in the family. In the eyes of others. Come, come, I'm doctor. I'm not relish claiming a claiming lunatic as uncle. The innocent must pay for the sins of the guilty. Guilty of what? A gentle delusion? <laughs> How do you know it is gentle? By this time, who knows what violence he has committed? He was armed. Well, I'm sorry. I'd hoped so much for us. For you, really. Everything was to be for you. My uncle's house, his lands. It's true, doctor. In time, they would all become yours. After all, if one is to serve science, one must have the means. Are you priest or pawnbroker? <sighs> what I meant? was considered the challenge. Challenge? Just think of what confidence it would take to wean this man from his madness and get him to return home. Well, that is a challenge. Impossible. He can't have gotten far. No more than a day's journey. Quick, Potter, we shall go after it. <laughs>
most lovely sovereign and highborn lady. <laughs> thy heart of this, thy vassal knight, thanks for thy favor. Ah. O fairest of the fair, purest of the pure, incomparable Dulcinea. That again! I told you my name was Aldonza. Well, my master calls you Dulcinea. Why? Well, as he explained it, knights have their own language for everything. And it's better not to ask questions, because it just gets you into trouble. I beg thee, grant that I may kiss thy nethermost hem of thy garment. Kiss my witch! You keep interrupting the whole thing will go out of my head. Well, what's he want? I'm getting to it. Mm. <laughs> and send to me a token of thy fair esteem, which I may carry as my standard into battle. What kind of token? Generally a silken scarf. Your master's a crack brain. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they say one madman makes a hundred, and love makes a thousand. What does that mean? I'm not sure. You're crazy, too. What are you waiting for? The token. I'll give him a token. Here. By my lady. Don't shoot my lady, Mira. I'll crack you like an egg. <laughs> Come sit. Sit. Tell me, why do you follow him? Well, that's easy to explain. I, I... Why? I'm telling you. Because... Because... Why? I like him. <laughs> I really like him. Tear out my fingernails.
man, isn't he? Wants what every other man wants. Hell does. Now? Later, when I'm through in the kitchen. <laughs> Doctor, I do confess I shall not know what to say to him. In that case, leave it up to me. But he may not even recognize us. I am us. prepared for that contingency. Should he fail to recognize us? Who is in the quiet of a Don Quixote de la Mancha? Is there a castle beleaguered by giants? An army besieged and awaiting rescue? A king held under enchantment? <laughs> Why, what is this? My friends! Do you know us, sir? Should a man not know his own friends, Dr. Carrasco? Padre Perez, Senor Quilana. I should prefer that you address me properly. I am Don Quixote, knight errant of La Mancha. Senor Quilana? Don Quixote. There are no giants. No. Kings under enchantment, no chivalry, no knights. There have been no knights for over 300 years. So learned, yet so misinformed. These are facts. Facts are the enemy of truth. Your grace! Well, <laughs> did she receive thee? Our most fortunate of squires, the token. What of the token? Trigosimo, forgive me, I am overcome. It's from this lady. So there's a woman. A lady. The lady Dulcinea. Her beauty is more than human. Her quality, perfection. She is the very meaning of woman, and all meaning woman has to man. Aye, to each is Dulcinea. <laughs> Someone approaches. It's just an ordinary traveler. But see what it was upon his head. Get me to a place of hiding, Sancho. <laughs>
Avengers have departed. Sir Castiano, I would have to make a confession to me. I would confess that I have never actually been dubbed a knight. Oh, that's bad. But yet I am well qualified, my lord. I am brave, courteous, bold, generous, affable, and patient. Yes, that's the list. <laughs> Therefore, I beg a boon of thee. Anything within reason? Tonight, I would hold vigil in the chapel of thy castle, and at dawn, receive from thy hand the ennobling stroke of knighthood. Hmm. There's one small difficulty. No chapel. What? Well, that is, it's being repaired. But if you wouldn't mind holding your vigil someplace else. Here, in the courtyard, under the stars. Fine. At sunrise, you'll be dubbed a knight. I thank thee. Now will you have some supper? Supper? Before a vigil? <laughs> Nay, my lord, in this night I must fast and compose my spirit. Be just to all men, 
Be courteous to all women. Live in the vision of she whom sustains. She that is called Dulcinea. Why do you call me that? My lady. Get up from there. Get up. Why do you call me by that name? Because it is mine. My name is Aldonza. I know thee, lady. My name is Aldonza, and I think you know me not. All my years I have known thee. Thy virtue, thy nobility of spirit. Take another look. I have seen thee already in my heart. Your heart doesn't know much about women. It knows all, my lady. They're the very soul of man, the radiance that lights his way. A woman is glory. What do you want of me? Nothing, my lady. Liar! I deserve the rebuke. I ask of now my lady get to it. that I may be allowed to serve her, that I may hold her in my arms, that I may dedicate each conquest and call upon her in defeat. And if at the very last I give my life, I give it in the sacred name of Dulcinea. I must go. Pedro is waiting. Why do you do these things? What things? These ridiculous, the things you do! I hope to add some measure of grace to the world. The world's a dung heap, and we are maggots that crawl on it. My lady knows better in her heart. What's in my heart will get me halfway to hell. And you, Senor Don Quixote, you're going to take such a beating. Whether I win or lose does not matter. What does? Only that I follow the quest. <coughs> Back for your quest. What does it mean? Quest? It is the mission of each true knight. His duty. Nay, his privilege. To dream the impossible dream. To fight the unbeatable foe, to bear with unbearable sorrow, to run where the brave dare not go, to right the unrightable wrong, to
which each man holds secret within him. She that is called Dulcinea. Keep me waiting, will you? I wasn't. I didn't. My princess! Oh, monster! Stand back! Thou would strike a woman? Stay back, or I'll break your empty head! Oh, thou heart of flint in bells of cork! Now shall I cast A vision. Don't move. I must say, Your Grace, we certainly did a job out there. We routed them, did we? That bunch shall be walking bow legged for a week. My lady, it is not seemly to gloat over the fallen. Ah, let him run, hell! Sir, I am a tame and peaceful man. Please, Sir Knight, I don't want to be inhospitable, but I must ask you to leave as soon as you are able. I am sorry to have offended the dignity of thy castle, and I shall depart with daylight. But first, I must remind thee of thy promise. Promise? True. It is not yet dawn, but I have kept vigil and proven myself in combat. Therefore, I beg thou dumb me night. Oh, of course. Uh, let's get it over with. Wilt thou be good enough to fetch my sword? Fair lady, I cannot tell thee how grateful I am that this ceremony should take oh, place. Be careful now. It is a solemn moment which seals my vocation. Are you ready? I am. Very well. Kneel. Don Quixote de la Mancha, I hereby dub thee knight. Uh, your lordship. Didn't I do it right? If your lordship can make some mention of the deeds I perform to earn this so honor. <laughs> Don Quixote de la Mancha, having proven yourself this day in terrible and glorious combat, and by my authority as lord of this castle, I hereby dub thee knight. Yeah. 
Your Lordship. Something else? It is customary to grant the new knight an added name. If your Lordship could devise such a name for me.
How I do envy my enemies. Envy? To think they know the healing touch of my lady Dulcinea. Let this be a lesson to you, Sancho. Nobility triumphs. Virtue always prevails. Now, in this moment of victory, do I confirm my knighthood and my oath. For all of my life, this I do swear. To dream the impossible dream. To fight the unbeatable foe. To bear with unbearable sorrow. To run where the brave dare not go. Get on with your defense. If I might rest a moment. This La Mancha, what is it like? An empty place, great wide plains. A desert. A wasteland. It apparently grows lunatics. <laughs> I would say rather, men of illusion. Pretty much the same. Why are you poets always so concerned with madmen? I suppose it is because we have much in common. You can both turn your backs on life. We both take from life what pleases us. Man must come to terms with life as it is. I have lived nearly 50 years, and I have seen life as it is. Pain, misery, hunger, cruelty beyond belief. I have heard singing from the taverns, and moans from bundles of filth on the street. I have been a soldier and seen my comrades fall in battle or die more slowly under the lash in Africa. I held them in my arms at the final moment. These were men who saw life as it was, yet they died despairing. No glory, no gallant last words, only their eyes filled with confusion, whimpering the question why. I do not think they asked why they were dying, yet why they had lived. When life itself seems lunatic, who knows where sanity lies? Perhaps to be too practical is madness, to surrender dreams, to seek treasure where there's only trash. Too much sanity may be madness. And maddest of all, to see life as it is, and not as it should be.
Let's make a white track around them for their scurvy lot, and your grace can't deny that. There. <clears throat> Thou hast fallen into the trap of thy peasant mind again. You mean, they're not thieves and murderers? Do not condemn before thou knowest. You see, a young innocent approaches. Them yesterday. No, 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 no. Not again. This place is closed. This castle has gone out of business. <laughs> what? <laughs> Deny thy rights of sanctuary? I, I hate to. And to an I did dealt by thy own hand. It doesn't seem right. Not by any rules of chivalry. Madness and lies. 
Altonso, what happened? Ask him. Maria? Maria! I will punish them that did this crime. Crime? You know the worst crime of all? Being born. For that you get punished your whole life. Well, Sinel. Enough of that. Get yourself to a madhouse. Rave about nobility where no one can hear you. My lady. I am not your lady. I am not any kind of a lady. I was spawned in a ditch by a mother who left me there, naked and cold and too hungry to cry. I never blamed her. I'm sure she left hoping that I'd have the good sense to die. And of course, there's my father. I'm told. the child's mockery and that principle stirs beneath my feet. False 
knight, discourteous, before I chastise thee, tell me thy name. Thou shalt hear it in due course. Then say what thou seekest me out. Thou called upon me, Don Quixote. Thou reviled and threatened. The enchanter. <gasps> Behold at thy feast, master of battle! On what terms do we fight? Choose thine own. Very well, well. Thou art beaten thy famous forefathers, and thou must obey my every command. And thy permission is, if thou art still alive, thou shalt kneel and beg mercy of my lady Dulcinea. Where am I to find this? There she stands. Hmm. My lady. Is an alley cat! Monster! Defend thy soul! Thou hast my name, Don Quixote, and now I shall tell it. I am called Knight of the Mirrors! How soon? Soon! But not yet. Good. You'll have time to finish the story. But it is finished. What? At least so far as I know it. I don't think I like this ending. I don't think the jury likes it either! <laughs> Can you do nothing? I'm afraid there'll be more need for my services than his. Where is he, I wonder? In, in what 
dark caverns of the mind. Well, according to recent theory... Doctor, don't you think I did right? Yes. There's the contradiction. You again? Tell him to go away. But what harm can he do? Yes. It's all been done. Your Reverence, can I speak to him? Of course, but... I won't say much. And no mention of knight errantry. Of course not! This one speak of rope in the house of the hag. Your grace, your grace. Just a few words to like and part. A little chat, a little idle talk of this and that. I'll tell him all the troubles I have had. And since he doesn't hear, at least he won't feel bad. Oh, I hadn't bought a windmill in a fortnight. But the humble joys get duller every day. Why, when I'm asleep, a dragon with his fiery tongue, a wagon. Whisper, Sancho, won't you please come out and play? No, I got in fights with Teresa. And she always said, whether the stone hits the pitcher, or the pitcher hits the stone, it's going to be bad for the pitcher. So I've got bruises from here to here. From... <laughs> a little gossip, a little chat, a little idle talk of this and that. I'll tell him all the troubles I have had. And since he doesn't hear, at least he won't feel bad. Hadn't bought a windmill in a fortnight, but the humble joys get duller every day. Why, when I'm asleep, a dragon with his fiery tongue, a wagon whispers, Sancho, won't you please come out and play? Enough now! Why? What Why does did I warn you? Warned you? Uh, he's just trying to, my friend. Did your grace say something? You are a fat little bag, stuffed with proverbs. Yes, your grace. Well, as I was saying, Uncle. Nice to hear. Good morning, Padre. Or is it evening? Alonzo. Sir, how do you feel? Not well, my friends. Do you know your name? Should a man not know his own name? Well, well yes, but if you would speak it for us, sir. Alonzo Quijana. Padre, here beside you. I should like to make a will. Of course. Uncle? I'm sorry, my dear. When I close my eyes, I see a pale horse. And it beckons me mount. No, Uncle, you would get well. Why should a man get well when he is dying? It is such a waste of good health. <laughs> Come close to my friends. In my sickness, I dream so strangely. Oh, such dreams. It seemed I was a... No, I dare not say, lest you think me mad. Put them from your mind. No, Don. Nor do I know what they meant. Padre. Speak, my friend, and I will pray. I, Alonso Quijana, with one foot in the stirrup and the agony of death already upon me. Don't it let anyone friend. Do hereby make the following disposition of my estate. The book I bequeath to my beloved niece, Antonia Quijana, with the exception of certain personal bequests, which are as follows. You get out of my face! Get out! Is that slut in the end? You hide me and grind me till I die! Now, 
What is it you wish of me? Don't you know me? Should I? My name is Aldonza. I'm sorry. I do not recall anyone of that name. He knows. He is my lord. Why do you say lord? I am not a lord. Because you are my lord. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. You must forgive me. I have been ill. I am confused by shadows. It is possible I knew you once, but I do not remember. This way. Please, try to remember. Is it so important? Everything. My whole life. You spoke to me and everything was different. I spoke to you? And you looked at me. And you called me by another name.
good man, but I did not know him. What? Don Quixote is not dead, Sancho. Believe. Alonso. My name is Dulcinea. I think I know what this package contains. The history of your mad night. Lead as well there as you did here and you may not burn. I have no intention of burning. Well, old friend, shall we go? Courage. Cervantes. I think Don Quixote is brother to Don Miguel. God help us. We are both men of La Mancha. <laughs> 